Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about Eric Hartmann, the German ace pilot of World War II. If you're interested in more historic and battlefield loadout videos, streams and other gaming content, subscribe to my channel so that I can bring you awesome weekly gaming videos as I regularly upload quality content for you, as well as stream to both YouTube Live and Twitch. And if you have any loadout suggestions or content ideas, let me know down in the comments below or follow me on social media where you can share your thoughts and ideas with me any time of the day or night while helping me to grow. Eric Hartmann had an interesting military career where he was deemed the most successful ace pilot of the Luftwaffe. He flew the Messerschmitt BF 109 in which he secured 352 confirmed kills of which 345 were Soviet planes and 7 were American. He was born on the 19th April 1922 and began to learn the art of flight at a young age under the guidance of his own mother, who owned a glider flight school, where Eric became an instructor at a young age of 14. However, with the rapidly destabilizing economy of Germany, Eric's parents had to shut down the school and sell all of their assets. Eric ended up living for a while in Shangsha, China, where his father worked as a doctor. Eventually he returned to Germany and acquired his piloting license in 1939 and then joined the Luftwaffe in 1940. After successfully passing his training, he was assigned to the veteran flighter squadron called the Jagdschwader 52. This was good for Eric, as he had a lot of needed guidance from veteran pilots, who most likely helped to polish this newbie, as well as giving him the nickname Ubi, which translated to young boy. However, he didn't get off to the best start, as during one test or a training flight, he performed an acrobatic stunt, which his officers didn't take a huge liking to, and ended up grounding his ass. Alas, the pilot who was meant to replace Eric's position on the active pilot roaster unfortunately died soon after, allowing Eric to get back into the plane on active duty. Eric fought on the Eastern Front against the Soviets where his squadron was tasked with intercepting Soviet bombing units, supposedly giving Eric an advantage as the Luftwaffe was able to decide and choose when they would engage the enemy planes, would be flying in formation and were easier to spot, as well as having slower fighter planes which would be outmatched by the German Messerschmitts. Eric had an unusual tactic of closing the distance to as small as possible between himself and his target before initiating his first shots upon his rival, which was very successful, however, dangerous to himself as well. On multiple occasions his plane would be damaged from the explosions and debris of the enemy planes, which did eventually contribute to the number of 14, or 16, depending on which sources you look at, planes that he lost, which went down due to either mechanical breakdowns or damage from enemy planes falling apart right in front of his own. And on one occasion his plane was forced down, where he was captured by the Soviet soldiers. This is where his acting skills played a huge part in pretending to be critically injured, as he was loaded onto a truck to be transported back to the Soviet base. However, only one guard was looking after Eric, due to the assumption that he was in no condition to try to escape which he exploited to take the opportunity to slip away and return to the German lines, where he would rejoin his Luftwaffe units and continue his increasing and rising kill streak. Overall, Eric partook in approximately 1,400 missions throughout his Luftwaffe career and earned multiple medals, and more distinctively he was awarded the coveted Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves, swords and diamonds which was the highest ranking award in the German military at the time, and was handed to him directly by Hitler himself. However, some critics found it hard to believe that Eric could put up such huge kill numbers in the field, and special combat observers were sent in to ascertain whether Eric truly was as effective as reported, and they weren't disappointed. Having said that, what I found funny was that at one point, Eric decided to paint the turnip of his propellers black, which made him easily identifiable by the Soviet pilots, gave him the nickname of Black Devil. 
and began to avoid engaging into dogfights with him, as his reputation began to impose fear into the enemy pilots, which led Eric to get triggered and switch planes so that he could blend in with other Luftwaffe planes, making it harder for the Soviets to distinguish him from his fellow pilots. As the war neared its end, on May 8, 1945, Eric spotted two Soviet planes performing acrobatic maneuvers over the town of Brann for the ground troops, and he wasn't very impressed by their showmanship. So he decided to engage and take one of the two ace pilots down, which was accounted for as the last confirmed kill made by the Luftwaffe during World War II. Eric later surrendered to the American forces, however they gave him up to the Red Army, sentenced him to 25 years in a forced labor camp for supposed war crimes, where he ended up staying for only 10 years. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video, as it really took a while to capture the footage for since I'm not that great of a pilot myself. But if you did, consider subscribing to my channel, as I regularly upload weekly videos with quality content for you, so don't miss out today. I also stream weekly to both YouTube Live and Twitch. And if you have any loadout suggestions or content ideas, let me know down in the comments below, or follow me on social media where you can share your thoughts and ideas with me any time of the day or night, while helping me to grow. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like, or if you didn't, then a dislike, as I do appreciate the criticism, and always strive to improve. And now, as always, I wish you all a good day or night, wherever you may be. Stay safe. Till next time.